you're not doing it with like some 26 year old shirtless guy who doesn't really have a lot to say you know it's like you're doing it with Robert Downey Jr so it is artistically fulfilling I mean I think that's the way we've sort of by the way him without a shirt is awesome don't Whatever. get me wrong uh, 22 he, years ago no right now and right, he is the fine. best butt in the world Thank I you. recommend you talk to him on the way out great idea um but so I think that's how we've managed to, you know, maintain the artistry, really. Alors, alors c'est vrai que, euh, bien sûr, on, on ah, sait que le, le public euh, attend un petit peu de, de voir et d'avoir une impression de tenue qui est plus réelle, je crois, aujourd'hui. Et puis, bien entendu, ces changements que vous évoquez, c'est aussi ma, ma propre expérience d'homme. Euh, c'est un petit peu comme si, finalement, euh, ici, le, le cinéma eh bien, imitait la vie, en quelque sorte. Oui, je veux dire, nous avons after Avengers, we couldn't go for more of a spectacle, so um, I'm just so pleased as people are seeing the movie that they're telling us that we kind of did this correctly. Enough for me to be proud to announce the next installment uh, where it will just be Rebecca and I called Iron Man 4 Parade's End. <laughs> I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. I don't feel so good. Gosh, the whole team is together. What? This could not be more meant that to be. It just happened. <laughs> and it's still happening. Oh and it's still happening. <laughs> Holy smokes. The gang is all here together. Welcome. Now, you guys, you, and we have a bunch of survivors here. You've all survived the snap. Oh, I thought you were going to say Hollywood. Uh, and also and, Hollywood. And also Hollywood, and yes. And equal feet. And equal feet and a selfie to, to remember it all. But I'm, I'm just curious, what was it like the moment that you found out that some people were going away from you, and some of them right now? Oh, baby, no, that ain't gonna work. You know, I would have spoken French, but I was raised by wolves. She went to all these nice schools, and they spent all this goddamn money, and now she's all fancy and comes up and you just love her. I am an animal. I'm an ugly American, all right? They don't teach French in jail. <laughs> Alors, je crois qu'on peut applaudir ça, voilà. Il, fa il fallait qu'ils le disent, voilà, par rapport aux Français impeccables de Brunet, qui ont dit qu'il vient sûr dans les... Yeah, it's changed a lot. We can, I think we can both speak to that. We were talking um, uh, just generally last night about, you know... Um, you feel inclined to want to do these small movies and then you realize nowadays that just nobody... Yeah, it's different. You know, when I was in my 20s, um, before I had children and I... I'm dying, help me. Um, the movies that were being made would never get made today. The Challenge of Mr. Ripley, Shakespeare in Love, Sliding Door. Uh, including myself, I was really surprised. I Shocked. <laughs> You're such a snob. I don't feel so good. Non, il voulait vraiment donner à ce film un ré réellement un style visuel, et c'est en cela évidemment que ce film s'inscrit en même temps dans Iron Man. There, I've never had a better chemistry with anyone than you. And there's something about it um, that, you know, just really translates well to film. So Shane would just kind of put us together and leave us alone and be eccentric and then <laughs> say, cut. <laughs> Hello. Surprise. On a une toute petite surprise pour vous. Maybe that's what you told us about earlier with the baby armor. Iron Man Jr. Yeah. On a Iron Man Jr. We were at a, a Moroccan restaurant last night with some friends, and Gwyneth joined us. She graced us with her presence. <laughs> I'm so not annoyed. He's my favorite person ah, to work ah. with. I love him so much as a person and as an actor. And okay. He doesn't feel the same way about it's me. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, we're also, like, we're pretty, like, entwined, and we hang out. You know, some people, you only, they're only close when they're in front of cameras or when they're talking about how close they are, even though they never hang out together. You know, we, uh, 
we make a point of um, yeah. spending time. We're together time. a lot. I mean, and obviously, there are many flaws in this film to this armor. So if truth be told, um, I, I mean, do you feel, Robert, that <laughs> in a way, hello, um, enjoys more being out of the armor? I think when you are, are when, you know, Pepper's with a guy like Tony who's done everything and everyone, and, um, <laughs> you know, she, she has to keep like, some, some humor about it. Um, but, you know, again, like with my... Dîner dans un restaurant marocain à Paris et, et Gwyneth nous a fait l'honneur de se joindre à nous. Et cinq minutes après le début de ce repas, eh bien, ça y est, elle était en train de regarder euh, la carte de... Alors, pensait-il de Paris, mais en fait, c'est de long. How is it? I mean, what happens at the end? I mean, just tell us about it. Oh, my God, you're not going to believe it. Gwyneth is actually in charge of explaining. Of course she is. I remember thinking, I'm about to beat this bitch up. But we, she and I are the secret sauce. We don't want to boast, but we are the secret sauce. As Alors, far as the, the future, who knows? Alors voilà, euh, en fait, elle et moi, eh bien, nous sommes euh, l'ingrédient secret, la, cette sauce secrète, même si je ne veux pas... Être...